for our parenting segment. And with us today is um, Ajoke David. She is the founder of Aquila Nidas Montessori School, and she's passionate about bringing Montessori to the grassroots in Nigeria. And today we are talking about choosing words that help to develop personal power and responsibility in your child. You are welcome. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Now, let's first of all establish the need for um, or the importance of purse for a child to have personal power and responsibility. It's important for a child to have personal power because they need to be able to have some sort of control mm -hmm. over areas of their lives. And we need our children to become responsible, to be able to make responsible choices in life. Yes. Because um, whilst they're young, the consequences of wrong choices mm. are very safe, so to say. But when they grow older, those consequences become more and more dangerous. For example, um, a teenager chooses to drink whilst they're drunk. That could be life and death. Mm. So our children need to know that you know, they have some level of control and they can make responsible choices. Sometimes children act out, you know, they misbehave mm. when they feel they have no control over their lives. Even as adults, mm. if you feel you have no say, yes. how, I mean, how would you behave? I'll lash out. Exactly. Mm. So we need to give them some level oh. of, you know, choices so they have a little bit of control. Over, over their, their lives. lives okay fantastic now let's um dig in on these words you know um what are those words that parents should be intentional about you know when uh, you know helping to develop their personal power and responsibility okay so there are two sets that we're going to be looking at today okay um the first one is giving choices limited choices mm -hmm. And they have to be limited because sorry. sorry i need to ask at what age should you begin this grooming process from when they're toddlers, okay, when they can actually choose. Okay. So for a toddler, in the morning, um, if you don't mind the child wearing a particular um, blue shirt oh. or maybe another yellow one, mm -hmm. you can say to the toddler, oh, would you like to wear your blue shirt or your yellow shirt today? Mm. Would you like to have, you know, a toasty or a muffin for breakfast. Okay. Would you like orange juice or apple juice? Mm. And you have chosen choices that are okay for you. Mm. So you're offering them, you know, some limited choice mm. and they get to actually empower themselves by making choices. When they practice making little choices every day, they get better and they understand the effect of their decision on their own lives. Mm. So that's one. Um, another one would be using words intentionally, like decide, choose, or pick. So a lot of children don't have an awareness that they actually choose their own attitudes or that they're responsible for their, their behavior. behavior. Mm. So you say to a child, I noticed you got into a fight in school today. What happened? You say, oh, my friend made me do it or he pushed me. I've spoken to a child that fell down and the child said to me, the floor tripped me. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, you can say to the child, you know, ah, I noticed you chose to fight today, mm. you know, mm. or I noticed you picked, you know, a sour mood, what happened? Or, you know, if you decide, you know, to return the car without petrol inside it, yes. then you choose not to use the car next weekend. Mm. So when we use these words over and over and they have to be repetitive, mm. then the child understands that they are actually the ones choosing their attitude. Mm. They're in control of their of their behavior mm. and no one made them do it oh great you know it's very very i mean <laughs> i'm processing everything that you're saying and i'm like wow i mean you are very very right i mean we give too much we take so much responsibility for our kids behaviors and their actions even when they are wrong we still you know feel responsible for them and then you know letting us you know pay attention this is bringing us to our to their to 
there to the attention that we need to pay in regards to them taking responsibility. But then um, there's a very thin line with um, us shoving our what we want, our choices on our children. You know, so for example, you use the case of um, the blue shirts and the yellow shirts. It is what we want because at their age, they may not exactly, um, they may not know what they want. Mm. So there is there is that thin line. How do we, you know, separate it without making it look like we are the ones, you know, making full on choice, shoving our choices on them? Well, it's developmental. Mm. So we we have something where we call um, a. F uh, a framework yeah so at a certain age you need to actually be the one making certain choices a child does not know mm -hmm. that they need to wear a thick cardigan you know like a, a toddler probably mm. doesn't understand yeah. why he will wear a thick cardigan when yeah. it's really really cold yeah. and not a, a, a vest mm. or something yeah. so as the parent you would offer safe choices mm. and like I said limited because when we give unlimited choices the child feels unsafe mm. and they're overwhelmed mm -hmm. so as they grow older you know then you can increase the amount of freedom they have like the more they've been making choices then the more responsible they become because they've had more practice okay. and then the more they're able to handle more responsibility you get the feedback mm. that your parenting has actually been effective mm. and by the time they're teenagers they're able to actually really make good life Long choices, choices. for themselves mm, fantastic thank you so much Ajoke. this has been very insightful um, i've learned something and i'm definitely going to be more intentional with my choice of words can you would you like the yellow or the blue top today <laughs> All right, thank you so much. All right, the conversation, of course, continues on all our social media platforms at TVC Connect.